Step into the world of the 1952 TV series Adventures of Superman. No need for capes or superpowers to appreciate the show that captured hearts across generations. This classic series follows the legendary hero as he battles villains and upholds justice in Metropolis. What makes this series timeless? Its lasting qualities stand as a symbol of the industry's impact. Have you ever wondered why it stays in our memories? Maybe you have a cherished moment linked to this show. Get ready for a journey through funny, shocking, and sad facts about Adventures of Superman. The stories behind the scenes are as interesting as the ones on screen. So keep watching. Now we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your connection to the adventures adds another layer to the show's legacy. Stay tuned for more insights into the world of Adventures of Superman. There's more to discover, and your stories are a vital part of this journey. A timeless family show that has stood the test of time for over six decades, Adventures of Superman remains a classic in television. Despite its age, the series continues to captivate audiences with heartwarming and good-natured storytelling. As viewers reminisce about watching it as children, alongside other well-known shows like The Cisco Kid and The Lone Ranger, the sentiment is clear the show's minimal violence, emphasis on themes of good triumphing, and moments of laughter make it stand out. One intriguing aspect that has kept viewers hooked over the years is the portrayal of Lois Lane, a character known for her intelligence and observational skills. Despite working closely with Superman, the Man of Steel, for an extended period, her apparent lack of recognition of his dual identity remains a notable plot point. However, this observation does not diminish the enjoyment of the series as viewers fondly recall watching it in the 50s, an era now considered historical. Reflecting on the show as a whole, viewers recall the excitement of witnessing Superman's heroic feats in the face of adversity. The memory of watching reruns as children and being amazed by his ability to bend steel and deflect bullets lingers. The nostalgia for the red and blue outfit, the suspenseful cliffhangers, and the nail-biting action contribute to a sense of longing for the simplicity and thrill of bygone television. In a world where contemporary shows abound, the sentiment is expressed that there is a need for more productions like Adventures of Superman. The show, with its engaging narratives and the iconic presence of the Man of Steel, stands out as a beacon of positivity. Each episode becomes a thrilling experience, leaving viewers pondering whether he will arrive in time to save the day and protect characters like Olsen and Miss Lois Lane. In conclusion, Adventures of Superman remains a classic testament to the enduring appeal of television. Its ability to evoke fond memories, provide a sense of escapism, and instill a positive outlook on the world makes it a cherished part of TV history. George Reeves, the main actor in the series, thought about leaving after the third season. Kirk Allen, who played Superman in the 1940s film serials, was asked to take over the role, but said no. Reeves tried to start his own show, Port of Entry, but faced money problems and ended up coming back to the Superman series with a higher salary. In the episode Superman on Earth, costumes from the 1930s and 1940s serials based on comic strips were used for Kryptonian characters. Jor-El's costume was actually reused from Buster Crab's outfit in Flash Gordon Conquers the Universe. Other Kryptonians wore elements from Captain Marvel and Captain America costumes, creating a mix of familiar comic book looks. After the series ended, Phyllis Coates, Noel Neal, and Jack Larson, who were important cast members, made small appearances in later Superman live-action adaptations. Their continued involvement in the Superman story shows how the original series made a lasting impact. The stuff that happened behind the scenes, the reuse of costumes, and the cast members appearing later in the Superman story all add to the layers that make up the adventures of Superman story. In the initial seasons of the series, wire work was employed to depict Superman's flying scenes. However, during this process, there were a few minor mishaps. On one occasion, the support wire snapped, causing actor George Reeves to drop to the floor. This incident led Reeves to refuse further participation in wire work. Consequently, early episodes showcased Superman taking off within the frame, while in later seasons, he would run towards the camera, hitting a springboard hidden below the frame to leap out of sight. Following the passing of Noel Neal on July 3, 2016, Phyllis Coates stands as the sole surviving regular cast member of the show. 
This fact highlights the passage of time and the inevitable changes that come with it. Notably, the series initially presented Clark Kent's Earth parents as Eben and Sarah deviating from the well-known names Jonathan and Martha. This discrepancy arose from inconsistencies in the comic's portrayal of the Kent's names. The shift to Jonathan and Martha became standardized when the characters gained prominence in Superboy comic stories. The names Sarah and Eben were initially introduced in the novel The Adventures of Superman and the first Superman serial. These behind-the-scenes insights provide a glimpse into the challenges faced during the production of the series and the evolving nature of character details over time. The departure from wire work, the changing cast landscape, and the variations in character names contribute to the multifaceted history of the adventures of Superman. John Hamilton, who played Perry White in the series, had trouble remembering his lines. To help him, the team came up with a practical solution. They filmed Hamilton sitting at his messy desk with the script visible. This way, he could quickly glance down for cues during scenes, making the delivery smoother. In the sixth and last season, George Reeves, aged 44, became the oldest actor to be Clark Kent Superman in live action. This casting choice added an interesting aspect to the show, showing Reeves' long time in the role. In the early episodes, George Reeves wore glasses without lenses when playing Clark Kent. As time went on, Reeves needed prescription glasses due to aging eyesight. In later episodes, you can see reflections off the lenses from stage lights, subtly changing the character's look. These behind-the-scenes details about the cast challenges, the lead actor's aging, and the changes in the character's appearance add to the interesting history of Adventures of Superman. The show's commitment to keeping its characters consistent, even with real-life changes, remains proof of its lasting impact. Phyllis Coates first played Lois Lane in the show's first season. When she left, Noel Neal took over, reprising her role from earlier movie serials. A unique thing in the series is how Superman enters Perry White's office by smoothly going through the window's louvers without needing to open a window or sliding glass door. Coates' last appearance as Lois Lane was in Season 1's Crime Wave. Noel Neal then took over in Season 2's first episode titled Five Minutes to Do. The following two episodes featured an edited version of Superman and the Mole Men. In the beginning, Superman's flying scenes used wires, but they faced problems when the support wires snapped. This led George Reeves, who played Superman, to stop participating in those scenes. The portrayal of Clark Kent's Earth parents changed initially from Eben and Sarah to the more familiar names Jonathan and Martha. John Hamilton, who played Perry White, had trouble memorizing lines. The practical solution was to film him with the script visible on his messy desk for cues. In the final season, George Reeves, at 44, became the oldest actor to play Clark Kent Superman in live action, showing his long commitment to the role. Reeves' eyewear changed over time, from glasses without lenses to reflections off prescription lenses, subtly reflecting the character's aging. As the series went on, Phyllis Coates, Noel Neal, and Jack Larson, important cast members, appeared in later Superman adaptations, highlighting the lasting influence of the original series. These behind-the-scenes details, including casting challenges, changes in character names, and practical solutions to production issues, contribute to the interesting history of the show.